the SUP as a, a known and uh, called today is a fantastic opportunity for translating science-based evidence to uh, actionable policies and uh, concrete elements that we can implement in cities. I think it's important, particularly uh, in consideration of the, of the fact that today we are uh, not only bringing scientists, but also uh, city representatives and businesses. So really kind of bringing together that ensemble as, uh, of uh, organizations, really kind of coming together, understanding what the challenges are, funding and finance, for instance, kind of came across all over uh, throughout the sessions this morning, and really kind of trying to understand what, what are the solutions that we can bring to the table. And particularly from a solution point of view, I feel very strongly that we need to kind of shift completely uh, uh, the emphasis from the cost and the, and the challenge side of things to the value and the opportunity one. Uh, the key takeaway this morning, and I heard that from, uh, from other representatives, is that actually kind of money is available, funding is available, finance is available. If we structure our projects and solutions in a certain way, really looking at the quality of life and well-being as kind of driving stars for what we do. Uh, the other takeaway is that we need to, we have a big, big challenge in terms of the timing. Uh, of course, we need to look at the long term uh, with, a, with an eye on the short term. But the challenge today is actually kind of really looking at transformational change rather than incremental one and convincing our mayors and, and regional authorities and most importantly, the citizen that uh, vote for them that change uh, has to happen now. Uh, so that's kind of by far the starkest challenge, but we have a lot of kind of really good evidence to kind of really bring out the message and really br bring that top-down, bottom-up balance uh, to kind of really activate communities and, uh, and citizens to kind of uh, make change happen.